Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kerry Sullivan with RockstarTriathlete.com and today I've got my list. I've been checking it twice and I'm going to make sure that I give you guys all the tips you need to do long haul travel when you go to your races. Especially for you guys going to Kona, pretty much everyone's going to do some pretty serious travel to get to a race like that. And in general, Ironmen tend to travel more to their races than other athletes doing other types of distances. So I've got some tips and some advice for you guys when you do that long haul all travel, how to get there in one piece. So the first thing is this, is when you go to these races, uh, basically for every hour that you change time zones, you should have one day to acclimate. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit easier when you're going traveling to the east versus traveling to the west. Um, it's gonna be easier, or it's gonna be harder when you travel the east to acclimate to the time zone difference versus traveling to the west. So that's the first thing you need to do there. So if you can arrive uh, a few days in advance, that'll help. If you can't arrive a few days in advance, what you can do is you can really start taking your watch that you're, you're going off of at home and adjust it to the time that you are going to be traveling to. So, you know, whether it be four or five hours, whatever it is, you can try to start eating your meals on that time and really try to get your sleep cycles in touch with those time zones as well. So when you get to the race, you're good to go. So I'm gonna show you guys some other stuff too that you need to bring with you. So this, that's a compression sock. Compression clothing is gonna be huge, uh, especially when you're sitting a lot, your blood will tend to pool. Um, I'm a big fan of the compression sock the most over over all the other types of compression and clothing just because it's gonna compress your ankle and your foot and a lot of, because of gravity, a lot of the blood will be traveling down towards your lower extremities. But you know, obviously uh, the shorts and the tights and the shirts and everything they have too are great as well. It's just gonna help to prevent some of that swelling so your legs feel a little bit better once you get there uh, come race day. Second thing, hydrate. You need to hydrate when you're out on the plane, or up in the plane, I should say, not out in the plane. Uh, the, the, the air is drier in the cabin, and so you're gonna dry out a lot more. Your skin's gonna dry out a lot more. Uh, and when you breathe, you're just gonna be uh, basically having more moisture taken out of your body as well. So definitely hydrate. Bring a water bottle with you. A lot of time they're gonna give you little teeny water bottles. If you actually bring a water bottle with you, you can walk back to the back of the plane and they'll fill it up for you as many times as you want uh, with water for you. So that will definitely definitely work for you too. Um, second thing, or another thing, it's not the second thing, but you, you guys get the point, is uh, bring your own food. Definitely bring your own food in there too. Um, a lot of the food that they're gonna give you on the planes are gonna be loaded with all kinds of sodium and fat and you don't really know what's going on with that. So uh, you can bring different types of, types of bars. That's a lar bar. These are pretty good. You know, it's getting in. You can bring fruit as well. Just know what you're taking in and that way you kind of avoid having any issues with food or any type of food poisoning that might happen as well. Uh, hand sanitizer, you're gonna to wanna to bring some of that. You can bring uh, smaller bottles, that's kind of a big one, but. Uh, the smaller bottles should be good to go and just use that because you know you're traveling around with a lot of different people you're touching all kinds of different things uh, you're in an area where people are touching all different things you don't know where these people have been so definitely do that and uh, that should help you before you eat uh, it will definitely help kill some of those germs and uh, the last thing you can do to prevent yourself from getting any types of illnesses or things like that rockstar triathlete uh, we like to do things au natural as much as possible. So uh, some natural antibacterials, antifungals that you can take with you are oil of oregano. That's oil of oregano. Uh, that's a great uh, natural antibacterial and fungal. You can also use uh, garlic. So you can get garlic pills and, or if you want, you can go hardcore and actually do the garlic flows, eat that. That's uh, super good as well in terms of uh, nailing bacteria and fungal stuff. So that, is that so you guys do those things you put those tips together when you get to your race you should start feeling good and be able to go out there and rock it like a rock star that's Kerry Sullivan with rockstartriathlete.com and uh rock on